Hello, let's look at Dialogger. Dialogger is a crate in Rust which you can use to create something which looks a little bit like this. So enter your name, Bob. Hello, Bob. Your email, Bob at gmail.com. Enter your country, USA. And there we go. So it gives you a nice, if you're familiar with uh, NPM, NPM in uh, Node or JavaScript, then you will recognize this sort of format. Now, what it's also done is it's written to a text file. So there we go. So we've got bob, bob at gmail.com and country USA. So I'm just kind of easing back into this after a little bit of, um, I don't know, some kind of lurgy. Right, so if we go to, uh, actually, we'll stick with my usual method, my usual way, which is to look at, um, sorry, let's look at cargo. And this is taken from, or the dependencies are taken from the Dialogger Crate example. So I've got a feeling some of these are superfluous because the, the Dialogger Crate example has multiple examples. Dialogger, Serde, Serde JSON, this error, which I didn't use. So again, I don't know if console down to here, I don't know if they're actually required, but um, for the purposes of this, I'm just dipping my toes in the water with Dialogger. So we'll gloss over that. And I'll just make this, um, Hopefully that's okay to read. I can make it a little bit bigger. The trouble is it is actually going off the right hand end of the page. So um use dialogue here. then we've got theme, colourful theme. There is another one which is a standard theme, I guess, which is less colourful. And we've got inputs. So this is kind of the M the MVP minimum viable product. So Serde serialize because later on we need to serialize from our struct into something that can be um, converted into converted to a vector at the end. So derive serialize. So we're collecting the name, the email, and the country, which is the three things which you saw me enter at the start. <clears throat> okay, so in main. This is taken from the dialogue example, so don't worry about paying too much attention to the, the actual syntax, uh, just with prompts, interact text, and wrap. Then that's me doing a print. So I'm capturing the input here, here, and capturing input here. So I'm capturing three lots of input. So I'm capturing. So with the example code, it will just print to the screen. Whereas I need, I want to actually uh, create a variable binding that I can then use to insert into the user info struct. And obviously, because the key values match, you only actually need you only see the key. Yeah. So we end up with user data, which is what I've called user data. And then what we're actually doing is we're creating a new variable called user data JSON, which is basically survey JSON to VEC. Um, in actual fact, that is creating a VEC of U8, which we then um, create a file called res.txt, result.txt. And then we write all of um, the user dot JSON into F, F being the file. Um, so that is what then gives us. And yeah, one last thing: remember to use create. Don't do file open like I did because I was I was doing file open. I was a bit rusty on my file file handling. Now, I'm not even convinced this is the right way to process the user data either um, i'm wondering if i i could just use maybe the json exclamation the 
yeah. with the JSON macro. I'll, I'll come back and revisit this. But for the time being, this works. And um, yeah, I just think it's a nice little small project which you can dip your toes in the water with. Um, And so you can customize the colors and all that sort of jazz. So, um, so really, this is good practice at using a cargo crate, said a um, creating a file, editing or updating the file. So, um, yeah, it's just good practice, um, good, good kind of exercise to just. Um, stay fresh or learn some some new stuff with really so if i just do tree sorry l2 you can see we've got main and there's just creating the res.txt file here um so yeah just go to the cargo crate or go to crates.io <clears throat> and you want dialogger Um, take the example code, and then rather than printing, just printing back to the screen, you can set the response that you get back from, or get, set the input, user input, set that to a variable, and then you can put those variables into a struct, your own struct, which you would create up here. And just remember to use serialize. And then we do the write uh, the file and so on and so on. So the file gets used here to create and then the write gets used here, write all. We're writing all of the struct, or rather the, the vec u8, we're writing that. Um, <clears throat> I think that got converted to a u8 there because when you do the write all, it's expecting a u8. If we uh, just, take that out um, it's a data vacuate if I tried to put in say we just tried to put in why would let's just check why that complains Oh, you, you could fudge it there, actually. You could just put the B in the front and tell, make it bytes. But um, it's expecting uh, ampersand a reference to a, uh, a, an array of U8s. But instead, it found a static string. So expected reference ampersand U8. There you see. Um, so hopefully this has just given you some inspiration and uh, yeah, not might, this might not be perfect, but it's a good introduction and I think it just is kind of, it's something that's good to have up your sleeve if you ever need to write something for other people to use, for instance, and you need to guide them through it. So um, <clears throat> There we go. Can't even spell Canada, sorry. So there we go. That's just a nice way to uh, reproduce the NPM style of uh, user input that you would get with other programs. And I think Rust can Rust is very good at being able to, obviously you can use UTF, you can use emojis and so on and so on. So um, yeah, Rust is pretty cool for that. So yeah, don't just, give it a try don't be shy <laughs> thanks for watching thumbs up all the usual youtube algos um subscribe thumbs up like whatever and all that so yeah thank you for watching